designer assembly. All you'll have to do is insert your leg and they'll come with glue if you want to glue them in. This is what your panel will look like. And these are your legs. So the easiest way to install them is just to flip your panel upside down. And if you're gonna glue them, you'll wanna apply a generous amount of glue to both the leg and the fitting. And when you put them in, you're gonna wanna line up the holes the same way the other ones are. And I'm not gonna glue these right now, just to show you. And then you'll do the other. And that's what your panel will look like fully assembled. Now, when you go to put these together, wiring is very important to make sure your panel is gonna work correctly. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna unwrap the wire here so that you have extra on this end. And then you're going to unwrap the wire here. And this wire, you're gonna go ahead and run through the legs so that your whole panel will have electricity. We send these pre-drilled for you. The great thing about these is once your horse does learn to respect the panels, you can actually flip these around and put the wire on the outside if you have to worry about other horses coming around your horse. So the best way to wire your panel is you're going to want to pull this wire pretty tight, give it a little tug, and then you're going to want to wrap it around the pole itself to keep that tightness so that you can make sure that it's going to stay in position. Same thing with this one. I'm gonna give this a little tug, and this is gonna be loose on the bottom because this is actually gonna to connect to the next panel. So I'm gonna give it a little tug, make it nice and tight, and again, I'm gonna wrap it around the pole there. And then from there, you can just wrap it around both of them to give you that little extra security. Now I do have a little extra left right here, and to keep it tight, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wrap it around one more like that to take up that slack you're gonna make sure that they're pushed in nice and tight so you get a good connection. This will help keep your electric nice and tight to make sure that your electric works for your horses. If it's not tight, these wires will sag and then you have a chance of your horse not even touching them. You can just loop it through a second time and that'll tighten the bungee. So we're gonna do three of these on each panel. And then again, you're going to finish it off with your bungees to complete your corral. 